Hello everyone, welcome back to this tutorial on OneNote. In our earlier lesson, we learned about how to use the OneNote application to create the workbook, also to add the various sections and different pages for the given workbook or work, work notebook. So in this lecture or in this session, what we are going to see is how to capture the audio version of the meeting. This is very helpful if you are going through going to any meeting and you do not have enough time to capture all the details of your meeting during the actual meeting happening. So what we can do, we can record the audio version of the meeting and later on whenever we find time we can capture the detailed notes of that meeting. Same is applicable if you are attending the like sessions or any other your business meeting. So what we can do, we'll create a, sesh, a section in our notebook and we'll name as meeting. You can of course create for other purposes as well. So under this meeting section, this I'm planning to have this section especially for capturing the notes from my project kickoff meeting. So I will mention that project start meeting or project kickoff meeting whatever the term you would like to use. So this is my main page and under this main page we can have various things such as when this project is going to start or what is the milestones and all other like budget etc. We don't want to capture all the details what have happened during the meeting because we have to also listen and respond so it will more become more parallel work and we may not capture all possible. So what we'll do we'll just go ahead and record our meeting. For that we'll go to this insert tab and inside the insert tab we can see the options such as screen clipping, pictures, online pictures which we have saw already in our earlier video tutorial. So what we are going to do we are going to leverage there are two additional options one is record audio and record video. If you are planning to record video you can use this option but for now we'll use the record audio option. What we have to do is just click on this record audio and it will take us to this screen which will show the options such as the play and pause. So this is project kickoff and I'll just mention start out project. You can capture all other options also and click on stop. As soon as you click on the stop this file will be stopped to generate any more audio. So audio is already captured because as soon as you click on the insert the audio will start capturing. So you can move this node anywhere on your page and what we can see here when we mouse hover on this node we see this small play button just left side of this audio file. Similarly we can see the play button left hand side of this start project. So let's go ahead and play our audio and it will take us to this screen which will show the options such as the play and pause. So this is project kickoff and I'll just mention start out project. You can capture all other options also and click on stop. Now one thing we notice here, so when the audio was playing, as soon as the audio goes to the start project option, at the time the audio is automatically available, at, the cursor is automatically available at that point. So if you just want to listen the, the startup project audio version of your meeting notes, you can just go ahead and play here. Similarly, you can capture budget or closing notes and all that and those will be automatically you can go ahead and listen directly from there. So this is very convenient and easy option so that if you have a lot of work you can plan accordingly. Now we saw how to capture the audio. So let's go ahead and see how to add the word or PDF documents in our notes. So for that what I have done, I have already created a PDF document as well as a Word document. So in order to insert such PDF or Word document, there are some other inserts option available. So we'll go ahead and click on this insert tab and we can see file printout, file attachment, spreadsheet, you can attach the spreadsheet also here. So we'll use the file attachment because there is no option to insert the PDF or to insert the Word document. So I'll go ahead and click on the file attachment. Now we will select 
one of file so let's go ahead and use the word as a word document file that is the training and click insert so it is showing two options would you like to add this file as an attachment or would you, would you like to add as a insert printout so it is non-editable page so we'll, let's go ahead and add as a attachment attach the file so it will create attachment file now let's go ahead and try with the, our pdf file for that again we'll go to the file attachment and select this snowflake command which is a pdf file and click insert so if this time it is again asking whether you would like to create as attachment or insert printout i'll just mention the insert printout so this will quickly open the the pdf version and then what will go we'll close that and it will show the content of your pdf version in our OneNote. So this way you can capture your documents. The same thing is applicable for our Word document also. So here you can quickly read instead of opening that page every time. In case you want to open this is like if you are the laborers or big document you can just add that attachment. But if it is a small document you can attach as a other descriptive or um, image file. So this you cannot edit here because this is image file. You can make it small, you can enlarge it as per your needs. So this way you can add the Excel file also. So you can create your own new file or you can add the existing Excel file here. So there are options are endless. You can add the various types of audio files. You can add various types of video files. So there is no any limitations. So in this session, we saw how to create or insert the audio files. We also saw how to insert the images. We also saw the Im images means from the PDF file or how to insert the Word document. I hope you enjoyed this session. If you have any questions or queries, you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. If you like this video, then please do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit that the like button. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.